This is my Uncle Doug. If you can't tell, he has Down syndrome. Doug loves Star Wars, Shrek, and the Packers. The holy trinity of paraphernalia of every Wisconsin basement. My mom became Doug's legal guardian in the early 90s, so I spent my childhood hanging out with him and often going to Special Olympics bowling with him and his buddies, a program he's participated in since he was a kid. I bring this up not to provide photographic evidence that my mother dressed me until I was 13, but because this week Betsy DeVos said that she'd like to stop funding the Special Olympics. Which is ironic since they just named a new event after her, the DeVos Sprint, a mix between the 100 meter dash and skeet shooting, but you replace the clay targets with bears. Bull. Quick background on the Special Olympics. It's the world's largest sports organization for children and adults with intellectual and physical disabilities. If you want to understand even a fraction of what this organization means to so many people and their families, grab a box of tissues and watch when the ESPYs honored the Special Olympics by giving the Arthur Ashe Award to its founder, Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Through the Special Olympics, she transformed the lives of millions of athletes and made the world a more inclusive and inspiring place for us all. It's welcome, acceptance, love. All of this is part of what built our country. And you can't do it if you don't accept everybody. Seriously, an entire box of Kleenex. Back to the ableist asshat. This week, DeVos defended her budget for the next fiscal year that includes over $7 billion in cuts. Cuts that include a reduction to state grants for special education and all $18 million the Special Olympics gets from the federal government. About the same cost as five Mar-a-Lago trips. Multiple members of the subcommittee had the very appropriate and rational reaction of, what the f***? To which DeVos said, Mr. Pocan, uh, let me just say again, we had made we had to make some okay. difficult decisions with this budget. Again, this DeVos also excused the decision by noting that the Special Olympics is very well funded by the philanthropic sector. Kids I think Special Olympics that are affected. is an awesome organization, one that is well supported by the philanthropic sector as well. Sure. The good news is that Congress has to approve this budget, and with Democrats in control of the House, it's not gonna happen. So it's maybe easy to say, well, if it's not gonna happen, does it really matter? Yes, because this budget, even if it doesn't pass, symbolizes what this administration's priorities are. And once again, big reveal, it's not any marginalized group. Just add people like Doug to the already very long VDP list. Very deprioritized people. Oh, I'm not done yet. The even more insidious part of DeVos' defense of this cut is the insinuation that Special Olympics is better served by philanthropy. A billionaire who is in charge of a major public institution is suggesting that philanthropy will take care of something when the government can't or won't. That's a very plutocratic, slippery slope. Living in a society where the uber wealthy get to determine and finance the common good with no democratic accountability? I'm not here for it. And neither is Doug. I'm Kristen Bry, and thanks for watching Below the Fold. Please comment and share this video to spread the word and subscribe to get weekly videos on my YouTube channel or at www.belowthefold.co.